Hello and welcome to the screencast recording for Blogger. So this video will show you how to log into Blogger and more importantly how to publish a blog. So let's get started. Open up your web browser, go to www.blogger.com. Here you'll see a login page. Uh, simply put in your Gmail email or your Google account here and your password and press sign in. This will take you to the general practice, well, the dashboard. So this will be the name of your blog. Uh, so here you have your main menu. Uh, so in post you'll see where all your blog posts and previous articles have been placed as well as where your drafts are. Uh, you can see your comments where people have left you a uh, comment for you to approve. Um, there's also your statistics uh, to see you know, where people are going, what, what they're seeing on your blog and uh, where they come from, uh, as well as the frequency. So let's go back to overview. Right, so how do you publish a blog? Well, there are two ways, either press new post or use the pencil or pen that you see in the top left corner. This should open the writing page. All right, so let's begin. Uh, first thing you're going to do is either write or paste in a title. We're going to write it in. So we're going to be using some lorem ipsum text. Here we go. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Okay. Now, if you've written a whole block of text, it might be a good idea to, you know, s split it into more manageable paragraphs for your audience to read. So we're going to do that here and here. Okay. Right. Now, if uh, there's a series of paragraphs that change the theme or are slightly different, um, what you can do is also put in some headers and make it easier for people to find information on your blog. Okay. Go back and forth. Okay. Alright, so we've got the text. How about an image to make it a little bit more visually appealing? Uh, we're going to put that here. So, let's do insert image. Uh, you can select from a range of options. Uh, we're going to do it from your desktop. So, what you have to do is click choose file. Alright. Select the picture. It'll upload. That's the one. And add selected. Okay. Now that's a little big. We're going to click on the picture. Uh, I want it to make it smaller. And I want text to wrap around and to put on the left. More journalistic. Okay. Um, Maybe you want to describe the picture and give a little bit more details, so I'm going to add a caption. Okay. Okay. Uh, great. Let's look at the text. Ah, I see that I've got a hyperlink here. Now all you have to do is select the text and press link. Now. If you've already typed the web address, then when you press link, it's going to recognize it and turn it straight into a URL. However, you, what you can also do is select text, press link, and then you'll see a pop-up which asks you to put in the URL. Uh, and you can also test the link. Uh, alternatively, you can also put in an email address if you want people to email you. Uh, note that in the web address, 
it's usually a good idea to say open this link in a new window. So on our example here, oops, didn't mean to do that. Here it is, that's what I wanted. Um, so here, open link in new window. There you go. All right. Uh, I also had a movie I wanted to put in, so I'm going to put that here. So to insert a movie, all you need to do is click on this icon here, say insert a video. Now, with Blogger, you can actually select uh, a video that's already been published on YouTube by other people. All you need to do is type in what you're looking for and press search and it will find it for you uh, however yeah you can also have a video that you have on your YouTube channel uh, they'll show up here and use that to publish it uh, in this scenario we're going to upload it from the desktop so you do is choose file here it is choose and upload. Now it's going to upload in the background. Uh, it'll change when it's ready. Okay. Now that's a very long blog. Uh, normally we'd ask that you shorten the blog by, I don't know, splitting it in two and writing two separate blogs with a part one and a part two. Um, oh, as you can see, now it's processing the video. Um, to go back to it, uh, yeah, this is very long. So one way uh, you can avoid putting all this text on your home page is to insert essentially a page break. Uh, Google call it a jump break. Now we're going to do that here. Um, so you select the paragraph or the the few paragraphs that you'd like your audience to read that's going to tease them into wanting to read more and click on this icon here and what this will do is on your home page it will hide all of this text underneath it and only keep what's above and what that will do is when when you do that for a series of blogs which are all a little bit longer than just a few paragraphs then it makes it a lot easier for your audience to navigate around your blog and to see, or at least have a complete overview of all your blogs. All right, uh, now that's done. Yeah, looks fairly complete. I'm very happy with that. Uh, what we can do is preview it to see if there have been any little mistakes. Oh, see the link. Okay, looks fine to me. All right. Uh, what you can do straight away is add the labels. Don't forget to do that. This is very important uh, because it tells uh, search engines what's on your blog and how to file it. Um, so in this case, I need to write some Lauren Epson. Right. Always separate them with commas. Once you're done, it's done. There you go. You'll see the labels here. All right. I think that's it. Um, so now it's a question of publishing. Now, if you're not happy with the blog and you'd like to come back to it later and you know make a few changes before you publish, all you have to do is press save and you'll save it as a draft and then you can just close it and come back to it later if that's it and you're ready to publish just press the orange button here and just say publish and blogger will take care of the rest however if you'd like it 
to publish at another date, so two weeks from now, and you think it's done and ready to go, all you have to do is click Schedule, and you can select the date and time, and Blogger will publish it automatically. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to put uh, October 10th, 12 a.m. Okay, select Done. There you go. Now, location. What location does is, on your blog post, what it'll do is it'll show where you are or essentially what location you decide to set here. This is actually useful in the sense that it helps the search engine um, provide people in a local area specific content um, and make suggestions. So maybe that's useful for you. It's it's optional whether you choose to do it. Entirely up to you. Do done. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's everything. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, you can email me at jeremy at zn.be or you can email my colleague uh, lise at zn.be and we'll get back to you. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.